as you look at the world in front of you right now, it seems to be full of objects. You know, there are things you can see, maybe you're watching this on a laptop, you can see its form, its shape, its color. And these objects seem to be real. They seem to really exist as objects out there in reality. Now, if we think about the fact that the appearance of the object, the way you're seeing it, that's entirely based in this narrow spectrum of light that your eyes are sensitive to. There's no objective appearance to the laptop. If a snake were to look at it, if another animal were to look at it, if you were to genetically modify your eyes to be sensitive to infrared light, it would look different because there's no actual thing it looks like. Now, is there anything it actually, does it actually have a form as well? Well, in the same way, there's what we perceive to be empty space in between the laptop and you, or any choose any other object in, in the room. But that's full of stuff. That's full of air, full of molecules. And it's only our primate brains that need to function on this scale that decide to perceive the world as consisting of empty space with objects. Now there is a pattern. The matter is more dense where this object is, and it's less dense over here. But without a brain to build up a picture of reality based in these patterns and decide that that's one thing, that's an object, this is not an object, this is space, without a brain doing that work of structuring reality, reality, reality doesn't have a shape. It doesn't consist of separate things that actually exist. So objects aren't really real. It's only your brain doing this thing of perception that makes you think that objects are real.